Good afternoon, everyone. La Jolla, California, Scripps Pier. Repeating temperatures seen in 1930s Dust Bowl era. Close in Baja Peninsula warm, but the rest of the blue that we see it makes you wonder how this headline, humidity just horrid because extremely warm ocean temperatures. Okay, we'll look a little further off California. White is balanced, blue is cold, and all those stories about a global heat wave. And even leading into last week when he was told it's the hottest ever, everything's melting, the planet's melting. Oh, 0.0, .0 I guess the heat and the cold balanced. Starting off here with the big wobble. Article they have posted, sea surface sample, the warmest ever. Well, since records began in 1916, what happened in the prior 200 years, 400 years, 600, 1200, 2000 years? Well, I guess that doesn't count because it's only from 1916, but that's great. And I like how the researchers have measured the sea surface temperatures, proving that this year was a little bit warmer than the 1931 era. They point to these unusual sea surface temperatures. So I pulled up the anomaly chart off tropical tidbits for you here. You can see Baja warmer, but as we get out into the rest of the Pacific, it's either pretty much neutral or cooler than normal. Now going back to the number of summer record daily maximums, we'll go right back in the 1930s. That's that gigantic blue spike that you see. Where are we? Oh, clear over on the very right side where it's dipping off. And staying with the big wobble, they had a huge amount of just heat articles, which I thought was incredibly interesting. Second one here, five-year drought, extremely warm ocean temperatures behind extraordinarily muggy Southern California. And they point to Channel 4 news station, First Alert, putting this out. But what I found interesting is these temperatures really aren't that hot. 84 degrees Fahrenheit, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 87 degrees Fahrenheit. But they have the stickiness dew points next to it. How does it really feel stifling at 73 plus? So I went over here and I thought, all right, I'm going to dig into this because you just took a look at the ocean temperatures that are supposed to be driving. Remember, Southern California it's not just that little tiny bit of red down near Baja. Southern California is half the state. So Alex Tardy, a meteorologist at the National Weather Service, says the water is warm and unusually warm, even for July. And then I like how in the second paragraph they put there, July finished the fifth hottest on record for San Diego. Are we still giving participation trophies? Fifth warmest? What happens when it's sixth or seventh warmest next year? Do we just line up and everybody gets a trophy for that seventh warmest? Oh yeah. Take a look at ocean temperatures again. We're looking out into the Pacific. Now this is the seven day change back from August 6th. So this will roll through at least that last week that they were referencing the article here. I see pretty much neutral off there. I even see a blue blob off of California, which is below normal. I do see some warm there, red above normal. I see some white average neutral. So where this obscure abnormal heating is coming from still baffles me. But all the articles coming out about Portugal breaking local temperature records, 45 degrees Celsius. But then the papers were all saying it's going to be 50, 52. Never even got close to that. But what's most interesting is, notice the people. I'm going to zoom in on that. These temperatures are supposed to be all-time record shattering, melting people, but they're all chilling out having coffee. If it was really that hot, they would not be sitting there chilling out. I understand they have the misters there. I've been around a lot of misters in coffee shops. So I quite enjoy it. But if it was really that hot, that shouldn't make a difference. And those people walking in the sunlight, according to the news, they'd just be melted into the pavement. So I don't know if it's just an overblown news story. Yeah, 45 degrees, but for how long and in which places? And it wasn't everywhere. A couple temperature records broken, I'm sure. Now, the week leading up into this event, as we all saw over the last at least, you know, week of July into August, let's say these last two weeks has been nothing in the headlines except 
You would think we actually need firefighting foam on every street across the planet, the way the uh, media is portraying it. But I'm going to bring you over here, Ryan Maui. Difficult to compare the weather model output from the historical past. Combine them, northern hemisphere anomaly 0.0 C. Now this is back on July 29th, so you have to remember, news was still pumping the all-time record heat, moving into the heat, got to be hot, super hottest. I'll even zoom that in there so you can see it. A lot of blue in that chart, especially over India, Western Asia. And I do see the red hotspot over Europe, which the media is focusing on. But they're not really talking about Asia too much. Wonder why. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. There's definitely a concerted effort to continue to pump you full of this information that is the hottest ever and everything's based on CO2. And you clearly saw that those water temperatures hadn't been that warm since 1931, which makes me believe it's also a cycle that the media doesn't want to talk about. You can find this type of written information in a blog post, steamit.com, adapt2030, and also the tri-weekly podcast of mini Ice Age Conversations, anywhere you can find a podcast hosted on the net.